Well, hello, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and hopefully a Happy New Year. Uh, welcome everybody back to the reset update, and it is supposedly the last week of the dawning. So why don't we go ahead and wrap up this? At least I hear it last week. I, there's always mixed messages about this. So let's move on. Good. Excuse me. Forward. So. The community quest is on its last stage. It was recently completed to the purple stage, and we are up to 75% at reset. So you have a whole week to get that last 25%, supposedly. And there's a lot of speculation about what we're getting. I've heard reports from people that it would be cool if we got Gallahorn back at that, or there was some sub special surprise. A lot of people are thinking that there's something important coming, just because of the fact that Bungie updated it so that we are guaranteed not to fail it. Even if we freaking, you know, slack off a little bit. So aside from that, what is available for Bright Dust at Eververse this week? So on the front page, we have the Resilient Laurel, the Silverwing Kestrel, the ship from this year, if you wanted to pick it up, go ahead and grab that. As well as the little helper shell, a little elf nutcracker shell for our ghost, as well as the Frosty Friend multiplayer where you learn to build a snowman. My friends have been spamming this anytime they can. Making a little snowman. Dink. Okay, as well as the usual consumables. On the front, though, we have, let's see, the Glee Barrage for the Xenophage. Norman, I actually might pick it up. I like the look. I just wish it looked, it was different colors. Polar Prancer, another uh, sled, uh, sea -doo sled. Wait, snowball gun. That's it. And more of the Scrooge. Uh, you must always forget the full name. And Snowflake with the Emberwick Shell, which I need to remember to pick up because I just love the... Well, it's hard to say. Because I, I loved the look before in its pictures when I first saw it, but I'm not sure about it. Oh. I thought that was a holographic scope for a second. I was confused. But moving forward, in the bright dust, we have the Turbulent Weather Emote. This one already came around once, a second viewing as well as the Fist Bump Multiplayer Emote, which is the Fist Bump Explosion. The Tangled Shell, which is the wrapped up in Crystal Slides one, again. The Crystalline Shell, which is basically a giant snowflake. The Gift Giver, which is a uh, sparrow filled with exotic engrams. Don't think it'll actually drop engrams. But, eh, wait, hang on first. Yeah, no. And the Cardinal Directive, which is actually a pretty killer looking one. Hang on, let's see what shaders do to it, because oh, I might make this one up, because it actually looks super cool with that sled on the front, and it, since it actually can look different with these shaders, yeah, I'm gonna, that's, that's gonna be a lockdown for me. Then of course the Great Pigeon Projection from, wait, this is Donnie? It's Season of Don well, I mean, eh. The Howling Blizzard Transmet Effect, a little snowy. Perfect for this DLC. The Shower of Gifts, where you drop out of a present because you're a gift. Yeah. Ice Ball Effects, because you're chilled to the damn bone. And going through shaders, we have Celestia again. That looks weird with my Warlock, just because of my actual armor is not a typical one. Dawning Celebration again. This is a nice little bright purple one. It doesn't look too half bad. The Dawning Tranquility, which, uh, if I remember correctly, is a pretty similar, just a little bit shadered up. And the Dawning Brilliance, which is the shader that most people use for their armor, because it comes with a little bit of chrome. So now that is everything available for Bright Dust in the Eververse store this week. Moving forward, on Europa, we have a new Eclipse Zone and Eventide Ruins. The Augments are available again. The, there's a new Penguin out. Simulated Survival. And let's see, checking... The Triumphs, let's see, how many more weeks do we need? That's the wrong place. For Splinter, if you have been keeping up with it, there's two things left. There is, you reuniting the Eventide Rookery, which is two more penguins total, so two weeks for that one, and that should also complete the European Collector, because, uh, let's see, where is it, where is it, where is it? Aha. The one thing we're missing on all characters, if you've done everything else, if you've done Lament, Cloud Strike, and Salvation Script, and all the armor and weaponry, the last thing you're missing is Shattered Sky. Everything else can be done. This is the last thing that's time-gated for the Collector. So, moving on as well. The other thing we're missing is the Augmented Obsession. This week is in... Well, let's see. 
it rotates around, so that since this week isn't even tied, we can get Technocrat's Iron, but we need Eternity, which, if we look at the European map, it is in Braid Tech, which means we need, that was last week's, we need three weeks for Augment, unless it actually knows what I was doing, and it skips the steering abyss. But aside from that, that is everything new on Europa, it is Dark Priestess again, and everything else. So, it is double Nightfall Rewards again on the Glassway Strike. So, if you want to grind out some enhancement materials or exotics, that's an option again. And for Gambit, nothing new on Gambit as well as Crucible. Mayhem has come back around, so if you need elemental kills but you're not good at using energy weapons, just spam your supas. So, aside from that, that is everything new. There is nothing so far with Pro. He's still just doing his usual thing, accepting Wrathborn kills and hunts. And aside from that, that is everything I have for you today here in Destiny 2. Now, I mentioned last video that I'll have a video out on perks and some perk combinations that really cancel each other out and that should not exist. I'll have that out soon. I kind of fell back on, you know, holidays. Everyone's allowed a holiday break, even if this isn't your regular job. <laughs> so, with that, my name is Matt Scorpion. If you enjoyed the video, a like, share, and subscribe would be heavily appreciated, and I will see you in the next video.